Hello there. Today I'm going to show you about the hidden beta cell editor. Well, as I said, it's a uh, hidden beta cell editor. Rather than just having the standard parts here, it also has four more pages of different parts. Well, with the exception of this. I don't know what this is. Like they have different eyes. Or so I don't know if they have different eyes. Um. Well, to begin with, I'm going to add DNA. A lot. You know, so that we have a lot to work with. Oh, forgot one more thing. Freedom. Okay then. So, the uh, hidden the hidden beta cell editor thing here allows you to uh, use several different sets of uh, parts. Now, even though it is awesome that there are different parts, well, except for like the spike and the flagella. I mean, they're, they're slightly different than their counterparts that are used today. But for the most part, they're essentially the exact same thing. But anyway, I don't see the use of this other than just as a source of entertainment. Seeing as the, the cells that you make in this particular editor and in everything else don't actually appear in game. It is awesome though. Like for instance, the regular filter mouth looks pretty weak, right? However, one any of the other three beta filter mouths look really awesome. I mean seriously. Look at those three different kinds of filter mouths. Not only that, actually I think that kind of jaw was featured in the game itself. That too. Maybe it was that. Actually I don't really see any difference between this one and this one. But anyway, the beta cell editor is... In essence, it's completely and totally useless. But hey, it's fun to design your own cell with different parts. You know? Be sure to try and throw in a few regular parts, too. You know? Just to make it look good. So, let's have that electric. That electric. Oh, and it appears the difference between, uh, the, uh, electric ones are merely layers. But look at that. That is awesome. So, like I said, you can do whatever you want. Won't do much, though. Ooh, that spike looks better than the original. Okay, so there are a few key differences between the spikes. Yeah. However, these parts don't really appear that good until you paint them. So, let's uh let's make a nice nice sky blue cell. Shock spike. Because I can't think of anything better. Now, once you save, it'll just revert back to the regular game. See? So you're going to have to restart it every time you want to do a new cell or anything. Hmm. Also, I don't know if I mentioned this before or not. But these things are saved into this. See, like Shock Spike, Ultina, and Serbal. I made those three with the uh, hidden cell editor. But, they. Well, they don't exactly function correctly in the game. 
or in any other editor other than beta. Like, look at this. See the, like, animated tentacles, some body parts. Just, it just kind of glitched up. Not as glitched up as the plant editor, but not going to do one on that. So, in order to access this hidden plant editor, um, simply make a shortcut for a spore by right clicking the app. Hold on. By. Uh, Going to my computer, local disk C, uh, program files, electronic arts, spore, spore bin, spore app, right click, create shortcut. After that, you can go to properties and then. You can add this extension to it. Now you're going to have to put this somewhere. There's also a plant editor. That is extremely glitched up, however. So, the uh, cells themselves are pretty glitched. Well, yeah, pretty glitched. But for the most part, the hidden cell editor is a good way. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, your abilities don't show up here like they normally would. Like see with the slasher, shows their abilities like uh, poison, lightning, attack, and break. Doesn't do that for the hidden cells. Anyway, that's all in the hidden cell editor, or the beta cell editor, or something. I really wish that they had made that functional and included it in the actual game. It would make it would make the cell stage so much more fun. Well, that's all then. Goodbye.